Hi, my name is Nidhi Haryani. I am a PhD student at CPES. I will be talking on uh, triangular current mode control to achieve ZVS turn on for three phase two level converters without adding any extra resonant components. This is a schematic of my three phase two level converter. I'll show the hardware on my bench. It's a three phase GAN converter. So the question comes in that why do we need zero voltage switching turn on? When we look at efficiency versus power density, we can see that we can achieve uh, almost 99% efficiency even with hard switch CCM at 50 kilohertz switching frequency. But when we target higher switching frequencies to achieve high power density, we need soft switching. High frequency reduces the size of magnetics a lot, but it also poses the challenge of high, high switching losses. When we look at the loss breakdown at 68 kilohertz for the GAN converter, you can see that it has very small turn off losses, but the turn on losses are pretty high even at such a low switching frequency. This is the benefit of having wide band gap devices that the turn off losses are low, but the turn on losses are still high. Hence, we need ZVS turn on. The top right picture are the phase currents for TCM. You can see that the current is bidirectional, just like in CRM and single phase converters. So CRM is pretty common in single phase converters to, to achieve ZVS turn on. I'm proposing a CRM for, for three phase converters. The benefit is that we can see uh, even at high switching frequency, a TCM at one megahertz can, can achieve almost close to 99% efficiency with much higher power density. The challenge comes in that how do we achieve TCM in three phase voltages, which, which are different for different phases at the same time. So when we zoom in into sector one uh, switching waveform, we can see that, that we have to do a combination of discontinuous conduction mode plus triangular conduction mode plus clamping the third phase. Since phase A voltage is a minimum in sector one, phase A is, is, is in DCM, phase C is in TCM, and phase C, uh, phase B, which has the maximum average current is, is clamped. We can see uh, in the full line cycle control that, that the control rotates after every 30 degree. We can also see that the switching frequency variation is very small for my proposed control. Also, all the three phases are running at the same switching frequency at the same time. So now I'll present on, on power factor control TCM. So existing literature is, is uh, uh, limited to unity power factor only for, for CRM, even for single phase. But I propose to, uh, to do the same for, for reactive power control. We can still uh, achieve TCM uh, in, in lagging or leading power factor cases uh, by doing a combination of TCM plus TCM plus clamped. You can see here my, my phase currents. The ripple is higher than, uh, than unity power factor. The switching frequency variation is still very small. Even though the ripple is higher, I can still maintain a 99% efficiency because the conduction losses of my converter are pretty low. This is the three phase two level uh, converter with GAN devices. I have removed the heat sink from one of the phase necks. This is the top device on one side of the board and on, on, the, on the other side of the board the, there is the bottom device. So this, this is a very small vertical power loop. So we can see that this is a very small uh, GAN converter. And when we operate it in hard switch CCM the inductor size has to be this big. It's like uh, twice the size of the converter itself. But when we operate it in TCM, one megahertz switching frequency, we can we can reduce the inductor size to five percent. So that's why it is very important uh, to uh, to have soft switching uh, with TCM. What you see over here is a turn off waveform. We can achieve a dVdt as high as eighty volts per nanosecond. The next one you see is, is the hard switch turn on waveform which is actually slower that's why we have higher turn on losses in wide band gap devices. Then this is the, the converter uh, continuous uh, testing waveform. Uh, this, this is hard switch CCM. 
This is VDSA, the yellow waveform. The blue waveform is the inductor current. Thank you for watching this video. See you at the conference.